all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 134. The native people, who have lacked affection since childhood, actually have a strange feeling for Edgar. Although the real him, incomparably perverse and tyrannical, does many things, and will only follow his own interests. But when it comes to Edgar, the people of the motherland are eager for the former's approval. It seems that in his heart, Edgar, who controls a company and calls the shots from the highest point, occupies a position similar to that of his parents. Therefore, the people of the motherland have always cooperated with the work arrangement of the Walt Company, in addition to himself enjoying the feeling of being embraced. At the same time, there are reasons to hope for Edgar Gow's joy. But now the situation has become the unbearable appearance it is today, and the people of the motherland naturally have no face to face Edgar. As for Edgar, who pushed the door in, after taking a look at the people of the motherland. His gaze did not stop and was cast on Chen Tian, trying to keep his tone as calm as possible. Friend, I don't know your origin, but I know that you are waiting for me. Quote. Although the scene is very ugly now, I know that this is already the result of your subordinate's mercy. I want to know what you want, or rather, what we at Walt can give you. Although Edgar was very unhappy with Chen Tianjiang's situation and making it look like this, the reason in his heart still made him say something kind and gentle. As for the native countryman, in fact, in his heart, he is just a tool person to achieve the company's goals and performance. If you have any feelings for each other, it can only be said that the store manager in the pet store has feelings for the pet pet he owns. If pets behave well, they will naturally like it more. If you can't behave, you don't even want to look at it more. Of course, the relationship between Edgar and the people of the motherland, Chen Tian did not care. And will not feel any grievances for the people of the motherland. After all, Chen Tian himself couldn't like the people of the motherland, this cold-blooded and violent guy, at all. He also set his sights on Edgar. When looking at the other party to himself, no matter what the inner emotions are, at least on the surface, he is calm and calm. Even when he just spoke, his tone did not change in the slightest, as if he was not facing some danger, but an old friend who he had not seen for many years. This guy is really an old fox. Chen Tian laughed silently, AHCC, however, there is no such deep city, and it will not hold the Walt Company, the world's largest company. Then, he took a step forward, a smile on his lips. Seeing this, although Edgar desperately wanted to retreat in his heart, he still tried his best not to move. If it weren't for Chen Tian's meticulous observation, the others wouldn't have noticed Edgar's body at all, but it had just tensed for a moment. Subsequently, he slowly spoke, I came here to give you two a choice. One is that Walt surrenders and uses it for me, and that is to make this company disappear from this world. Saying that, a slight smile appeared on Chen Tian's face, which one do you choose? You. The moment Edgar heard Chen Tian's words, his face suddenly turned livid, and his body still trembled uncontrollably. He also thought that he would only have to pay some price to solve the trouble. Where did he think that the other party's appetite would be so great, and he directly wanted to let the entire Walt Company use it for it? As a capitalist, Edgar, in the face of such a problem, is naturally unwilling to give up everything that has been accumulated with great difficulty. After all, in his opinion, letting Walt out of control is no different from directly killing him. As for the people of the motherland on the side, when they heard Chen Tian's words, their expressions became ugly. In his eyes, Edgar is an existence that needs to be looked up to and obey in order to get a trace of recognition. How is it possible for others to be so insulting? Only for a moment. The people of the motherland have already made a decision, but Van Edgar showed the slightest opposition, zero no matter what, he will continue to fight with Chen Tian. However, next second, things were unexpected by the people of the motherland. Buzz one by one where he can't see. The psychic ability suddenly spread, directly enveloping Edgar. The original resistance to Chen Tian's existence in his heart disappeared in this instant. In its place was fear, and the fear of Chen Tian's strength filled all of Edgar's thoughts in an instant. There is also the desire for survival, which is also amplified to the extreme at this moment. Aye, the calm and grace that Edgar had always maintained was instantly shattered by the fear that surged up like a frenzy, and his legs went limp, and he actually knelt down directly. I am willing to surrender. As long as I can live. His forehead also touched the ground, and his voice was terrified. In his eyes, Chen Tian's figure had already become a tall existence that could decide his life and death at will. Edgar. The motherland people next to him looked at this scene, their faces were dull, their pupils were shaking, and their hearts were filled with shock. He couldn't get the other party's approval, but he didn't expect that this oriental teenager could do it easily. And now Edgar is not just recognizing Chen Tian, this is surrender from the bottom of his heart. Then, motherlandman, Chen Tian's gaze also swept over the people of the motherland. He thought about it and felt that this guy from the motherland was cruel and cruel, but he also had a certain use. If you can, there is no need to kill the other party directly. I'll give you the same two options. His gaze was indifferent, and he slowly spoke, surrender, or die. You, the people of the motherland, who were shocked, immediately prepared to explode when they heard Chen Tian's words. Although he has always pursued Edgar's approval, it is only an emotion similar to seeking the approval of his elders. This does not mean that he is willing to be inferior. Although Chen Tian is indeed stronger than him, but, buzz, mind fluctuations flashed. Although this guy is stronger than me, but, but he's really strong, I can't resist at all. The anger of the people of the motherland suddenly calmed down and was replaced by boundless fear. Chen Tian in his eyes suddenly changed from a powerful opponent to a ruthless god of death who could take his life at any time. And the hearts of the people of the motherland also broke out at this time with a strong desire for survival. If you want to live, you have to surrender. 
His body trembled, and he slowly knelt down, I want to live, I want to live, I surrender to you. With his knees touching the ground, the people of the motherland could not resist Chen Tianren in the slightest. Nope, I can't, quote. Suddenly, a wave of resistance suddenly broke out in the hearts of the people of the motherland, and he was unwilling to surrender. However, when he raised his head and met Chen Tian's cold gaze, his thoughts were once again filled with fear. I surrender. The motherland did not resist this time, and his forehead was pressed to the ground. Chen Tian looked at him and thought silently, compared to Edgar, an ordinary person, the spiritual resistance of the motherland is still stronger. No wonder the headshot woman can't kill him. Then, Chen Tian smiled gently, but compared to the super brain and psychic ability, it's still almost there. Thoughts are over. Chen Tian looked at Edgar, okay, get up, clean up the mess outside. When Edgar heard this, he quickly got up obediently, yes, boss. At the same time, I was overjoyed. Now that Chen Tian had become a member of the company, the negative impact caused by the previous war could easily be eliminated. At most, tell the outside world that our new superhero can test the power zero thinking about it, Edgar walked out of the office with a happy face. Unaware of his thinking, he has been subtly changed. As for the motherland, they were full of contempt for Edgar. I actually wanted to be recognized by this kind of guy before.